Well, we begin tonight with a story you saw first on 12. The suspect from a tense standoff faces a judge after holding officers at bay for hours. It's a story that was first breaking yesterday on Eyewitness News Live at 5. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where the standoff happened in the woods off Farm Street in Blackstone. That's just over the Woonsocket border. And today we spoke exclusively to the suspect following his arraignment. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now live from Providence District Court with an interview you'll see only on 12. That suspect was released on bail here earlier today, and in an exclusive interview shortly after his release, he says those, the, his dangerous actions are all the result of taking too many Valium pills. Only eyewitness news cameras roll in the woods of Blackstone as a tense four-hour standoff comes to an end Tuesday evening. Massachusetts State Police tactical teams used a flashbang device to capture 53-year-old Anthony Dagnalt after he refused to surrender to officers. All I remember is waking up about late in the afternoon trying to stop my car to get out of the situation that I was in. I couldn't move forward. And the next thing I know, I had a bunch of police officers on me. At his arraignment this morning, Dagnall told the judge he had taken too many painkillers after a loud fight with his girlfriend inside their Winsocket home. Police rushed here to 7th Avenue early Tuesday morning for the report of a domestic dispute. It's then they say Dagnall took off, leading officers on a high-speed chase through Winsocket. He was swerving in and out of traffic, avoiding several collisions. The officer in charge eventually called off the pursuit because of uh, school children. Later in the day, Blackstone police spotted Dagnalt holed up in his truck on Farm Street. With several unconfirmed reports Dagnalt might be heavily armed, multiple state and local agencies set up a perimeter surrounding the truck. A state police helicopter hovered above, and several nearby neighborhoods were evacuated. Dagnalt says he was never armed, and that heavy drug use fueled his dangerous actions. I should have not let my emotions rule my mind. Now, Dagnalt, uh, the judge did order Dagnalt to stay away from his girlfriend and return here to court on November 1st. Coming up new at 6, we have more of that exclusive interview, including what Dagnalt says he told police immediately after the standoff. For now, live outside Providence District Court with the exclusive details, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.